the more iron you have, the uh, easier it is to craft some stuff. But I specifically chose this map for the amount of amenities it provides you within range. There's a monument nearby. Other than that, there's not really much. And I think that will spark a bit of creativity from a very broken mind. And I want to see what I would do with that in terms of having to gather some resources. And I hope that it'll be useful. Maybe. Maybe. I hope so, at least. It'd be really sad if I didn't, if I just ended the series early, because why well, I ended everything else. But the key is, don't advance so quickly. Because sure, those first few days will be really fun, but after that, what do you, like, you lose motivation really quick. And what I found myself is that with the cheating data packs that I've installed, well, Novacraft or Lethal SMP, oh, Iron Revealed. I've gone into a habit of speedrunning, hybrid speedrunning, especially with the uh, um, new Novacraft Season 2, the newer one, where I got full diamond gear in like a day and netherite the very next day. So, like, not good. Uh, up there. We're doing a, what are we doing on time? That's west, right? Yeah. Now, only some AGs would remember this. I'm not even sure if I remember it myself correctly. But at one point believe the Minecraft day was only seven minutes of nighttime and ten minutes of day. I only know this because the reason why I play Minecraft is shout out to my own mother who like back in 2016 was like, hey, I'm gonna sign up for this game camp playing this game called Minecraft, and I'm like, okay. But me being nine, ten years old at the time, I didn't really understand what was supposed to happen, so I kind of just lost interest and let her do the work. And then she came to me a couple hours later and said, look at this, and I still didn't really take much interest in it, because I didn't really have a computer at the time that could handle Minecraft. And my brain was like, maybe this is just a bad computer and it didn't support it or something. Because at the time it really didn't support it. It was a Windows 7 computer in 2016. Really old. So I thought to myself, maybe if uh, I use my dad's computer, it would help. But me not knowing what a PC spec is at the time, because I was, like, really young. I just assumed that the PC would help, but it didn't. So then, fast forward a couple years, stopped playing Minecraft, and I, uh, then got an Xbox for Christmas. It's an Xbox One, I believe. And... This really changed how I played the game a lot. Like, it's really what got me back into Minecraft. Played it a lot with my brother. This time I was maybe 11 or 12. And a huge, huge progress was made. And I still go onto the Xbox from time to time and just look through the worlds. Because there is some really cool stuff that he and I made. Fortunately, though, unfortunately, they, uh, Xbox doesn't really like to play the game anymore, probably because it's still an Xbox One. So I'm stuck sometimes with not great uh, conditions, so I don't really able to see those worlds a lot. But then fast forward to July 2019, 
I make my first YouTube video without anyone knowing and when I they found out the conditions uh, weren't weren't favorable they weren't favorable to say the least that's kind of what got me into Minecraft Java again and I and stop making videos until about December when I got enough money and I purchased and built my current computer, which I'm still using to this day, actually. Because I don't have any reason to buy a new one because it still works. It gives me about 200 FPS in Minecraft. It works okay in other games like Rainbow or... CSGO, and those are really old games themselves, but it's really all I play. I used to play a couple of Roblox games here and there, not much. Slap the bed down. But, yeah, it's, uh... It's a good computer. I like it. It works. For what I need to do, it works. Let's, uh, throw some sticks together, and let's not buy, uh, so a fishing rod. Let's go stone still. And then summer rolled around, and that's when I started really making videos again because with the new computer, it allowed me to make videos without having to worry about the frame rate and the videos being bad. And from April 2020 to early 2021, I was making some Really basic, your average mumbo jumbo style Hermacraft videos, just on Novacraft or Yukira MC, which I still love to this day. I wish I could get back to that server. It was shut down because of inactivity. It was really fun playing on it. I learned in about April 2021, people weren't really interested in that type of content anymore. And me just being really uncreative, didn't really know how to make any other type of content. So then in early 2021, I started experimenting with some other types of content and I met a fellow YouTuber called Vislan and he helped me make some better content, got a couple more views, gained a couple more subscribers. And in June 2021, I hit a hundred subscribers, which was really cool. And I believe it was in August, I started watching a lot of Life's Lesson P videos. And me, not really interested in PvP, I never was really good at it. I took it up because it looked cool. I'm going to be honest, that's why I took it up, because it looked cool. And then basically... Vislon came to me with another guy called Keyvoids, and they got together and were like, yo boss, we're going to make a YouTube channel series. And they uh, gathered a couple members. I kind of sat there waiting, and then in November, things got started, and I'm going to be honest, it was really great. It was really fun for those two months. Learned a lot about content, learned a lot about people, created really good relationships with people I still talk to to this day. And then 2022 rolled to rounds. Wasn't in a great spot mentally, but still was in a move for making content. So I made a couple of Novacraft videos, but then after that, I kind of just stopped. I don't even know what hit me with it. Something happens. I don't know. But I kind of just stopped everything just nothing clicked and I just couldn't couldn't get myself to make content so yeah I mean I made a couple videos here and there throughout 2022 none of them were really that great 
I'm gonna be honest, I crowded a ton of them. I did hit a thousand subscribers during that year, but I made a montage about it, very similar to what you saw last Sunday. But it didn't it didn't take off and I didn't really plan for it to take off because it wasn't wasn't that good. So yeah, that's kind of the channel history. Fast forward to now and I'm feeling pretty good again. I want to make content. So yeah, that's how that works out. So thank you for listening to this. If you're interested in it at all, drop a subscribe or a like if you want to see the further going of this series, which I'm working on. The full video will be out on Sunday. And I will see you later.